Chris 6 News at noon continues. Well, good noon time, everybody. Uh, yes, the heat and humidity are with us, and this is going to be a long summer. Get a load of this. We're already at 91, and that's at noon time, so we're looking at a good mid-90s uh, today, and there's a possibility it may go up a degree or two even over the weekend. Hard to believe. Humidity uh, levels up here at 77 dew point. That is uh, very swampy air out there, and we're just going to have to be dealing with it. The only good thing is we have a little bit of a sea breeze blowing. Uh, you might have seen on the map there, this is the updated drought monitor. It comes out every Thursday. Uh, most of the coastal bend is under moderate drought, but a few areas to the north in San Pat and Refugio County are already being considered severe. In North Texas, Amarillo, Lubbock, there it's severe to extreme out there. So it has been uh, a rough start to uh, <laughs> May, and, and now it's July. So here are the high temperatures for today in the 90s, upper 90s. If you're by the water's edge, well, at least you got a little breeze blowing. But inland, it is downright hot. 104 today in George West, 105 in Fal Furious. And you can see temperatures are going to be maybe a degree or two hotter, as I mentioned, over the weekend. The reason for that is that high pressure is going to build a little bit stronger. Now, we do have the heat advisory for all of this area, basically from Nueces County out west. However, even if you're in Nueces County or San Pat or Aransas, just consider that if you're working in the afternoon, you're really going to perspire and it's not going to evaporate. Therefore, you won't be cooling. So give it, you know, 10, 15 minutes and take a break. 15 minutes, take a break, because you don't want to overdo it. You could stress your body out. Now, we'll have a few high clouds rolling through the area. These are actually from some storms that fired up in the mountains of northern Mexico. You can see them up here. But they're just too far away, and the winds are not conducive to bring any of that storminess into our area, just the high-level clouds that you see drifting overhead. Well, as I mentioned, uh, we are now at the beginning of the hurricane season, and so for the time being, high pressure is over us, and it's going to deflect everything away from our region, and that's for another 7 to 10 days. We've got the remnants of what used to be Alberto right about here. We've got a valiant cold front. Yes, a valiant, a brave little cold front that's going to move into the central plains, but unfortunately not going to do much. As you can see, high pressure, this bubble right about here, that's what makes it hot. That's sinking air on top of the region. That's your Monday and your Tuesday. And maybe Wednesday, there's going to be a bit of a northwest flow here. But as far as Texas is concerned, very slim, slim chance of any changes. So here is your forecast. Uh, very simple, high thin clouds, otherwise sunny and hot. Not near record heat, above normal in the mid 90s, maybe at records. So. Uh, going to be a long hot winter uh, uh, season uh, right on through. That's it from uh, La Palmera Mall. We'll toss it back to Emily.